Mechanicals Layer Management Basic Concepts Mechanicals Layer Management Tool controls the look, the color, the line type, line weight, and names of Mechanicals layers. Mechanical will use these layers when creating specific objects. Hatches are automatically placed on the hatch layer. Construction lines automatically placed on the construction line layer, and so on. And this functionality is the foundation for many of the tools within Mechanical. For instance, this is what prevents the dimension command from dimensioning to a hatch line. The layer properties of these layers can be customized. Layer names and colors can be changed. Line weights and line types can be altered. But you must use the mechanical tools to do this. If you use traditional AutoCAD layer tools to make changes, mechanical will ignore these changes. The tools for making these changes are Mechanical's Layer Manager and also the Object Properties Settings dialog box. There's additional information for setting up Mechanical's layers and object property settings in the Configuration and Setup Guide available in the Mechanical Help Utility. Let's take a look at the default layer names and layer properties. First, let's look at the working layers. There are a series of layers whose names all begin by default with an AM underscore and then a number. For instance, AM underscore zero. AM underscore zero is the layer intended for contour lines, also known as object lines. Its color is black or white, depending on your background color, and it uses a continuous line type. AM underscore one is also a contour layer and uses a reddish brown color. Otherwise, it's the same as the AM underscore zero layer. This layer is available in case you would like to put object lines on a separate layer from AM underscore zero, perhaps for a different line weight or so you can control the visibility separately. There's a third object line layer, AM underscore two, and it uses a medium blue color, but otherwise is identical to the other two. AM underscore three is used for hidden lines. It uses a magenta color and a hidden line type. AM underscore four uses a continuous line type and is green and is used for auxiliary lines such as borders for a partial hatch or the outline for contour outer command. AM underscore five is used for dimensions and mechanical symbols. It also has a color of green and a continuous line type. AM underscore six is used for text and it has a yellow color and a continuous line type. Additional working layers include AM underscore seven, which is used for center lines, has a center line line type and a cyan color. AM underscore eight has a red color, a continuous line type, and is used for the hatch objects. AM underscore nine has a darker gray color, a continuous line type, and is used for objects that hide commands have made invisible. AM underscore 10 is used by the section line command, has a phantom line type, and a black or white color depending on your background color. AM underscore 11 also uses a phantom line type, but uses a green color. AM underscore 12 is used by the bill of material part reference command to place the part reference instances. It does not contain the definitions of the part references, just the instances. In addition to working layers, there are also standard part layers. 
These can be used when inserting standard parts such as fasteners or structural steel shapes. They have the same basic names as the working layers, but the letter N has been added to the end of the name. The colors and line types are all the same by default. The reason for these separate layers is that there is a utility that will turn on and off all of the standard part layers with a single click. This can be useful to temporarily shut off all the fasteners in a drawing. However, it will also shut off any structural steel shapes that may have been inserted. The use of these standard part layers is an option that does not have to be used. In addition to the standard part layers and the working layers, AM underscore CL is used by the construction line tools. It has a red color and a AM con STR line type, which is similar to the AutoCAD continuous line type, and is used to contain all the construction lines and other construction objects. This is used by tools that will delete construction lines and only construction lines when it is time to clean up a drawing. AM underscore parref is a non-plotting layer. It uses a cyan color and it contains the definitions of the bill of material part references. AM underscore BOR is used to place the title blocks and borders when you use the AutoCAD mechanical title block and border utilities. It has a black or white color depending on your background color and has a continuous line type. AM underscore views is another non-plotting layer. It has a red color and a continuous line type and is used when viewports are created either by AutoCAD Mechanical or by the AutoCAD commands when AutoCAD Mechanical is being run. AM underscore INV is used for invisible edges when using mechanical to make drawings of inventor models.